for the Hawkeyes. And Caleb Romero, top 10, he's ranked number eight for Ohio State. Good matchup here, Jim Romero's come a long way, and of course, it's great to see Kemmerer back in the lineup. Yeah, he's, Romero is having an All-American type season, and you he, out there, get out there and look at his footwork, and you're gonna see why. Kemmerer, you know, one of the fan favorites here, ranked three in the country. And he's got a little, uh, look a little bit different there, with a little bandage there on his, on his head, but these guys will get after it, so nice clean shot there by Kemmerer, weight on the leg. He's trying to switch off to two. Romero doing a nice job of, of keeping the head stuffed in that situation. We'll see if uh, Kemmer is able to get to his feet. He's pretty good at the double here. Two, three, Drives two, across and scores the two. takedown. So far, the Hawkeyes in both their matches getting to their offense early, putting up quick takedowns. Kemmer missed last season because of injury. He was down at 157. In third and fourth place, respectively. Comes in at seven and zero. Oh. Hard-fought battle of victory last Saturday night against Mikey Labriola of Nebraska 3-1. You, you were here for that one. Yeah, good battle between those two. But, you know, what I like what uh, the Hawks are coming out here, particularly after last week's performance, they're getting that early takedown. They're getting right onto their offense. And that was a difficult finish. Had his head stuffed on the mat for a little bit and was able to go ahead and, and switch from the single to the double on the same leg. What that means is he's able to you know, basically get you know, gets his head to the outside that time from being on the mat and coming across. And now he's putting a hard ride on just like what we saw from Marinelli. And, and in these tough matches, in these situations, you want to see, you want to test the guy underneath. Hey, do you have, do you have what it takes to get away from me? And Sitting there right on the edge, building his riding time now over a minute is Kemmerer. Romero 13 and 2 this season out of Mechanicsburg, Ohio. Getting a lot of tough matches. Seven of his last eight matches have been against ranked opponents. He's been 6 and 2 in that span. Five of those inside the top 11. And now he gets Kemmerer tonight, number three. It just doesn't get any easier. Well, he'll have uh, Mark Hall a little bit later. Caution. We'll have that duel here on BTN mid-February. And this is the skill set that Kemmer, you know, really kind of owned in the uh, at the 57-pound weight class. Was down there, nice little pinch and front trip and switch off. Love that. You know, that was a little subtle mat return. But you know, notice how Shane didn't go up to his feet with him. He didn't follow him up to his feet. He just stayed down there, pinched on that leg. That's really well done. Anytime the nose is over the toes, I like to see guys go forward with that, and that's what he was able to do with that pinch. Out of bounds, gentlemen, out of bounds. Out of real estate, back to the center with 104. Kemmer with an early takedown, and he's been able to control it since on the mat from the top position. And he looks great at 174. Yeah, he's really... He's the, he's the 157 pound. He moved up really well. Everything got bigger in the right spots. So... Always been able to put a good physical ride since he's been a freshman. Now he's up on the feet with Romero, the front slide. Look, you know, I snuck around to the side, made the little front trip right there. So good work. So far, a really good period. Riding time over two minutes. There's a stall call on Kimmerer, his first. Yeah, you know what? And he looks over to his corner, and they're just basically telling him, you know, as you see, Tom uh, having a little words about uh, maybe sharing Thanksgiving recipes. I don't know. But the, uh, he was, uh, they, you know, what I like what's happening right here. You don't let the official get you out of what you think you need to do to do, win the match. And that's always been a, you know, you get called from stalling in a top position. What do you, you want to do? Let him up? Well, now he's got a decent mat return. And now they're, with this crowd here in this audience, they're, they're going to, they're going to root camera on to maybe getting a another call on the bottom guy for putting burying his head right exactly there. if you're Romero you gotta bring your head up at least Tom Brands in his 14th year as head coach of the Hawkeyes they won team national titles in 2008 9 and 10 and recently picked <laughs> these are great shots because this is all uh, it's all Tom John on Angel Rivera here, you know, you know. 
keep him down. This is going to be is a pride thing right now. <laughs> Kemmerer gets to the top position. He's not going to let him up. Five second escape, Jim. Those quick escapes, critical. Yeah, it, it, it looked for Kemmerer to get right back on that shot right there, that lead leg. And again, what's impressed me this so far this season for uh, Romero has been his footwork. He doesn't move on that right leg lead too much, and he slides really well, and he's able to usually take advantage of, of you know, actually sprawling and, and circling and, and getting good quick go-behinds. So there's the footwork that you see. Not really following it up with much of a shot. Take down in the first and escape here in the second by Kimmerer. Out of Murraysville, Pennsylvania, Franklin Regional High School. He was a four-time state finalist and a champion as a senior. Uh, potentially dangerous call there with the hands to the face, I believe. 60 seconds here in the second period. Hawkeyes leading it 3-0, a decision from Alex Marinelli at 165. Kemmer in control here at 174. Guys tied up ear to ear, half shot, counter shot there from Kemmer. Romero, a four-time state champion for Mechanicsburg, won over 200 matches in high school, and as we said before, having a solid redshirt fresh sophomore campaign here for the Buckeyes. So he's got to let it go, right? He, you know, he's, he's out there presenting himself pretty well, but he's not really finding out. He's, he's not, you know, not taking the test, so to speak. But you got to take, and that's it, getting a shot on camera, getting into his legs, see what it feels like. And while he's thinking about doing it, Kemmerer is probably likely to get a shot of his own off. Final seconds ticking away. Wow. That's illegal on you, one red. And that's going to be a point for Kemmerer. Right. right call. He warned him once. Red Tom Brands taking a plunge recently. Reading Hawkeyes the local the fish wrap. And he goes. Yeah, this is their polar plunge weekend where they raise a bunch of money for their uh, wrestling club, so they get a, a lot of notables to go ahead and do that and raise money. And I'd rather give them the money than jump in. <laughs> Early third period, it's all Kemmer. And Kemmer just continues to move forward, keep territory, center of the mat. Yeah, and if you're, if you're Smith, you can hear the Ohio State court corner. They want him to pull the trigger. What are you waiting for? You know, and sometimes just a straight-on shot might set up another re-shot to a single or, or head the outside shot. But this is not really doing it for him. He's not taking the test. And if you're Kemmerer, there it is right there. He got to the shot. Roll through effort there by Kemmerer. Good sweep of the Buckeye, but defended by Kemmerer. Yeah, and, you know, he's got to put some pressure on him here with that overlock. That's pretty tough to break. Really good shot there yeah, it was from good Romero, shot. But, yeah, but, but you only, yeah, take a look at the shot right now. He's going to go ahead. Now a little sweep single, all right, gets to it and catches Kemmerer walking into it. But he didn't anticipate the roll through. Sprawl, get your feet back. Now you see more straight on stuff right there. I'm still waiting for that Jim Gibbons New York Times bestseller, Protect Your Ankles at All Costs. <laughs> I don't think it'd be a Times bestseller. <laughs> Two collar ties there. Michael Kemmerer, 35 seconds away from his eighth victory of the season. Gets to the leg on the other side there. Now counter shot there, collects the far ankle. Yeah, he may be looking for bonus points right here. He's got the riding time locked up. You cut him and go for a takedown and ride out. No, there's 15 no, seconds to work yeah, with. Yeah, you see the, the corners. Out of bounds, out of bounds. Yeah, they're going to go off the mat, so take a look at this shot. Pretty much straight on. This time, Kemmerer felt it, measured it, circled around, dropped in on the ankle, collected the far ankle, and it was over. But, you know, you got to do something there. You know, you don't wait. And you just want to... One, neutral. Now Kemmerer's going to give the intentional release. Six to one. It has all that riding time, like you mentioned, Shane. Take down and a ride out would give a major decision, but time ticking away. Defended by Romero, and with the riding time point, it'll be a 7-1 decision for Michael Kimmer of Iowa. Three more for the Hawkeyes. 
as they go up 6-0.